Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More. I am standing outside the 68,000 square foot strip mall. I bought a couple of years ago where my office is, this restaurant, a grocery store, the dance studio, uh, also a coffee shop right there. And we're talking about refinancing this property, some hiccups that came up with it. Renovations we're doing, you can see right there. More renovations we're doing for the dance studio. And we'll show you some other cool stuff we're doing in this building as well. So uh, a lot of this is circling around a refinance we're trying to do. We bought it for $2.1 million in 2018, had it appraised for $3.95 million uh, late last year, 2019. And to complete the refinance, uh, we had a phase one environmental report done. And that report showed there may have been gas stations on this property many, many years ago. So we've done our best to try and figure out if those gas pumps gas tanks were taken out. Uh, we discovered a permit that was issued in 1992, but was never closed out. And um, I even contacted the old owners, could not get a hold of anybody, the old management company, the old construction company on that permit. Nobody knows anything. So now we have to do a phase two environmental report, which I think is what this gentleman right here is marking out, uh, to do a survey to see if we can find those tanks. So we're working on that, hopefully here in the next day or two. The restaurant here, um, is open for business now, which has been great for a couple weeks. And as you can see, it's a, a little bit old and dilapidated exterior. Needs some paint, some rehab. So what we are doing is stuccoing it. So that's the process we're going through right now. Going to stucco all of this wood so it matches our other parts of the building. Should look much better and um, should look great. So the guy's doing it right now, doing it really going pretty quick. So good to see that. So um, we'll keep walking this way. With the refinance, we're hoping to take about $3 million loan out on the property, which is 70% loan to value or 75% loan to value. We're getting under 4% interest rate, but it's been <laughs> hassle after hassle after hassle getting it done. We had an appraisal done late last year had to challenge that appraisal to get it raised up about 500,000. I have a video on that. We had to um, switch banks because the first bank changed all their terms after we spent months getting that appraisal worked out. So we found a new bank, thought we got everything approved. Then all of a sudden this gas tank showed up on the environmental report. Been working, trying to find somebody, some information on that. Couldn't do that. So now we're spending, what, I think it's $8,000 for a phase two environmental report. So. It has been a pricey process. All right, so along with doing the stucco and the gas tank thing, the dance studio is expanding. So before, that was a people-ready office, kind of a labor temp office. They moved out a couple months ago, and the dance studio has wanted more space since they moved in. So before, this was, you can see People Ready's bathroom. That'll be taken over by the dance studio. That's part of the dance studio right here. This was just a storage room before. So we've opened up the ceiling, added windows. This will be part of their lobby, part of their viewing area for our new dance studio. And then before we walked this way, there's a little hallway right here and it opened up into my golf simulator room. So what we had in here was a golf simulator, it hung from the ceiling, had a projector, our computer, a fridge, and this was our little guys hangout, um, man cave in the commercial building, golf simulator. However, the dance studio wanted this part too. This will be their new storage room because they need lots and lots of storage. And this right here will be another studio for them. So I do have a video of the dance studio I will link to below and I'll try and link to as many videos as I, as I can of this property below, because there's quite a few of them. It is gigantic. Um, but this was all offices before. I have a video of me throwing stuff through the walls in here, which is kind of interesting, kind of childish, whatever. But <laughs> um, so we had to take out all the walls, took out the drop ceiling as well. This building already had a raised ceiling above the drop ceiling. So we just had to open that up. We'll paint all of that black. Came through, cleaned up all the ductwork. Raised the sprinklers up, um, cleaned up the electrical, and then, like I said, paint all that black. 
The walls will be painted, I think gray is what they had, and they want carpet in here for their dance studio or in those areas in the storage area. In here, they'll have a special floor for the dance studio. So now they'll have three big dance studio rooms, plus their lobby, plus two more bathrooms, plus the extra bathroom. So hopefully that's enough room for them and they'll be set up well. Now, on top of that, we have this area right here, which was also the People Ready office before. This was their lobby. So what they had was just a little sitting area, a big reception desk up here, and then that door was not there. We'll talk about that soon. Again, in here, we took out the drop ceiling, raised everything up, cleaned everything up, raised the sprinklers up, and this will be the new golf simulator room because it will be closed up. That wall will be totally separate from the dance studio. So my plan is to put the golf simulator kind of along that back wall and behind that wall is the grocery store. And then we'll be able to raise up the net if we want to move stuff around because right here, I'm going to put a garage door. So for whatever reason, one of my dreams has always had been to have a garage where I work. So I can park a car here. Um, if it's, weather gets bad, if it starts hailing, I can pull it in. I can have one car here. I can drive a different one to work, drive a different one home. You know, I have 10 cars right now. So I have a car problem, I know that. And this gives me more storage for cars. Just be a lot of fun to be able to drive them more by having this garage here. So when I'm not using the golf simulator, we can have at least a couple cars in here, maybe more. And when we are using it, um, you know, pull a car out, whatever, and we can drop the golf simulator down. Now, what's also cool about this space is it connects to my office, which is right there. So I no longer have to walk all the way around. It's not that far. It's like... 50 feet. but <laughs> we don't have to go through the maze, go back there to the golf simulator. Um, there's no bathroom back there before. Now we have this space, it's connected to the office, makes more sense. Um, the dance studio has more space. This little room is actually taking up less space than the golf simulator was before if you add the storage in. So we have more rentable space now for the dance studio, which means we'll be making more money per month. Their rent will be higher than People Ready was as well because their lease was kind of old. So we'll have more money per month, although it took some money to rehab it. This space makes more sense connected to that office. And with the garage door, maybe we could even rent it separately for whatever reason, if I don't ever need it, it can be its own little garage space as well. So that is everything that's been going on <laughs> with the building recently. The stucco, this rehab, uh, the gas tanks, and the refinance. So hopefully, if they figure out those gas tanks aren't there, which I don't think they are, like I said, there's a permit to have them pulled out in 1992. It just was not finished out. Um, then we can do the refinance right away, move forward with it. If we do find gas tanks there, then we would have to remove them before we can go forward with the refinance. And that could be pretty pricey. So we'll see how that works. But again, we bought the property for 2.1 million. Uh, we had a $1.575 million loan when we bought it. I bought it with one partner. Um, and we'll be refinancing it for right around $3 million once the refinance goes through. So obviously that will leave us quite a bit of cash to um, use for more rentals, more properties, more buildings. And for those of you wondering, I did post uh, the creepiest property I'd ever seen earlier this week. And I might have got it under contract and the one next to it. So I'll post more on that soon, but um, they're extremely cheap. We got really good deals on them. Have to figure out what to do with them now, but we will have more videos of those properties coming up soon. All right, thanks for watching. Appreciate all your support, all the likes, the comments, the subscribers. Thank you so much. Um, thank you to everyone who checked out my son's first RC Traxxas video that I posted on the community page too. He really appreciated that. Could not believe how many people like that video. So thank you for that too. We'll be back with much more soon. And don't forget to check out investformore.com for more information on rentals, flips, wholesaling, being an agent, 
all kinds of other good stuff. We've got a free book on there. If you're interested, just sign up for our email list and you will automatically get that.